I don't necessarily know if I wanted to make this video, but there's something going on that I need to tell you guys about. What's going on all my cheesy friends out there in YouTube world? So yeah, there is definitely some honestly massive, massive incoming changes in my life and the life of the household. And it's not because of my doing. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's definitely pretty crazy. Out of the blue and um, scary. Very insanely scary. But we'll get a little bit into that later. Stuff's going on clearance. They're starting to do toys. That's cool. It hasn't dropped far enough yet, but I've been checking every day. They started dropping like two days ago, but they're pretty slow about it. So I'll pop around here, see if there's anything good and go to the next store and then the next one and the next one. And we're just gonna do the thing today. Don't be... An interesting day. And I promise you, not clickbait. As much as I'd love it to be, it, it's not. So stick around for this. So in this Walmart, found a couple neat little things. First was the Disney, Disney The Last Dinosaur, or Dinosaur. Um, make a few bucks on that. And then the other one was this guy. The Princess Diaries. Those were $7.47 a piece. Those are a great pickup. I'm excited about that. Plus I needed some deodorant and some uh, soap because it finally took the six months it takes me to get through soap. Not that I don't clean myself, it's just that. Um, I don't know if you guys use Duke Cannon and it wasn't six months, calm down. <laughs> um, but it takes me like quite a bit to get through these. I have like a, a little scrubber thing and it's, yeah, it's great. It's fully, it's the crap out of my skin. This looks like some menial pickups here at this store, but that's okay. The focus for this video is a little bit different. Let's go see if any of this coffee has gone any lower. None of it's gone any lower, unfortunately. There's a couple over here, but it's empty. So yeah, there's definitely some big changes coming up in our lives, and I don't know if I'm prepared for it. But again, just a little bit longer, and I'll explain. Clearance isn't just in Walmart. Target's starting to pop off too. But you know the rule about Target. Ain't no way we picking up at fifth day. And if that was a stretch to rhyme, you bet it was. But, but seriously, don't pick it up at 50. We're gonna go check out Ross. There potentially could be some insane stuff in here. Ross has been upping their game with toys and I'm for it. I love me some toys. Speaking about Ross. So a couple days ago, I had to take an extra day off of work to go take care of some medical stuff for my parents. And guys, I'm gonna insert a clip here. Nope. Big ol' nope. I have never noped out of going into a Ross in my entire life. I was freaking out. Like this is, this is, no, this isn't your Ross anymore. This is for the, for the birds. So like I was saying, these Dragon Balls might really be worth it. I've never seen Hit. I, the moment I looked that up, that Goku, I had, it's got these big giant, I don't knows. I don't understand why they did this, but we'll check those. Unfortunately, what I was coming for was one of these guys might have been. Oh, did you guys see that ninja move? There might have been one of these that was an ultra rare. It's going for like 150 bucks. Yeah, at $14.99, not worth it. Yeah, also not worth it. So, you know, that's why we looked. There was also like 60 sellers on it, so people know <laughs> when you start seeing things like that that's when um the cat is out of the proverbial bag i always love these little dudes but sometimes there are treasure hunts of these but it's generally indicated so but yeah they're they're getting all kinds of neat stuff man like like this guy see here's the thing they put these seals on them and good luck getting that off oh man yeah so like i said Tons of potential, I'm gonna do a little bit of looking. So you might be asking yourself, you keep teasing it. I know, that's kind of the, that's that's the, the whole bit. And I'm gonna tease you and tease you. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna tell you. We're at our favorite place because the last few stores have been dry AF. Yeah. For those who don't know, I have been a general manager for the company I work for, which is in the retail sector for over 10 years. In fact, we were just a couple, we're a couple, of weeks or a week or whatever away from actually being at 11 years so we shut down a store about an hour and 45 minutes south of us and then last week we shut down the store that i started started home office but then i went to our other store and i actually helped lay the floor of that store 
I was there from the beginning um, and I worked the second to last day. So two stores down, I figured we're gonna get a lot of influx of customers that aren't gonna wanna travel 45 minutes north to go get their product. Sorry about that, Mrs. Cheese called. She's actually up in New York City because she went and saw Justin Timberlake last night in concert. That's pretty cool. So like I was saying, uh, we closed our other location and then before we closed that location, we got word that um, they were going to close my location. It doesn't make business sense to me. Yeah, we weren't really given a chance. And at this point, I still don't know why, but I'm not gonna dwell on that. It is what it is. Now I have to find another job. And you're like, you're, you resell, just, just do reselling. Yes, I, that is a consideration, but it's also a big risk. But we'll go into a little bit of that thought process and what's going through my mind in a few. I'm gonna go hop in my case. And if I find anything really, really cool or just unique that I've never seen anywhere, like that Pokemon box I saw a few episodes ago, go check that out, by the way. Um, I'll show you. A few moments later. Just got done with my case, spent about 80 bucks, and I have to go to this thing for my mother. And then uh, after that, I'll do a little bit more explaining because I got to go back to the house for something. I have an appointment. I just want to let you guys know, if nobody's ever told you in your entire life, doesn't matter how big, doesn't matter how small, of a company that you work for, it doesn't matter in the end, the relationships that you built. In the end, there are certain relationships that will stick with you and there are certain relationships that won't. And it's important to understand how to emotionally separate yourself from some of them, regardless of how dear they are to you. Uh, because in the end, all you're gonna do is drive yourself nuts. Trust me, I know this. Now here's a fun one. Go to Discovery Outlet. I haven't been here in a few, a few. Actually, I went to the one up north. Ah, uh, it was okay. But I haven't been to this one in a while, so maybe there'll be some good stuff in here. After this, I've got to go home and prepare. You might be saying, prepare for what? Process all that crap? Nope. I'll talk about it. So I'm actually in a thrift store. Because DVDs! I'm waiting to pick up Mrs. Cheese. Her flight got delayed, it's been a whole thing. So in terms of what will happen here on this channel, honestly is a, I don't know. Honestly, nothing may happen. Um, and I just go business as usual. Um, it could be that you see more content. It could be that, I don't know. I'm not gonna say any which way, yes or no, or anything to that extent. I did have an interview with a very prestigious company earlier today. Um, and that's, y'all, that was intense. Corporate, like, interviews is, it's, it's something different. That's for sure. Just looking through some of this electronic stuff, I don't really see much that I want to mess with. That pro scan down there is pretty cool. There is a, just a couple of weird Blu-ray players. Nothing overly exciting. Just, in my realm of exciting, DVDs. God, it's hotter than, damn it, in here. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. So yeah, like I was saying, we're back home. I've processed the DVDs. It's about $500 in profit. Not too shabby. More so, what I want to talk about is the fact that I don't know where things are going to go. I don't know if I'm going to go full time into reselling. I don't know if I'm just going to get another good paying job and still do this on the side like I've always done. I don't know, but it's scary and I'm kind of okay with it. I think in life we get complacent with what we're doing and when something like this comes about, we react in a very like, huh, way. And that's acceptable, right? Like you're allowed to have emotions and that's fine. But I think there comes a point in time you have to sit down and evaluate what is best for you and your family and what is best for you mentally. I am not gonna lie with you guys. It has been a huge struggle mentally. Um, when your world is ripped up underneath you, it, uh, it really like it's a gut check right like it it's that punch to the freaking throat like kimbo slice and you're just <sighs> you're gasping for air and there are times like i'm not gonna lie to you guys where i sit watching tv freaking out 
internally. But that being said, it's like this weird mixture of like good freak out and bad freak out. And like, what do I do? I don't know. I know I'm probably rambling. and I know probably some of you guys don't care. This is my channel and this is kind of how I get my crap out a little bit. I'm excited for the future and I hope you guys are too. Like I said, who knows? Maybe I take a part-time job. Maybe I take a full-time job. Maybe I hybrid out into one way or another. Who knows? What I do know is that I appreciate each and every one of you guys coming along for the ride. I know I say it every single time towards the end here, but like, I really do mean it. Many people think that YouTube is just a money grab and like the only pe reason people do it is for the, the, the dollars, the monetization, all that stuff. And while yes, for most people that's true, I don't get paid to put out these videos. I do this because I love sharing what I do and I love teaching people and I love all these things that come with this business. And maybe one day that'll change and maybe it won't, who knows? But we're gonna have fun doing it. So like, share, subscribe and um, you know, toodles. Nah, just kidding, bye.